And this is so amazing. Once you get your plywood down, you can literally walk anywhere on this thing. Anywhere. Right here. Tighten that bolt there. Underneath that bolt. Yeah. Turn these Look at that. All the way around. That's beautiful, Paul. Look at that. Let me get a <coughs> works better that way. We're measuring six and three quarters because the metal cutter cuts out another inch and a half. So whatever your full number is, minus by an inch and a half, and that's what you put on your brakes so you can line it up nice and well. First piece. Just gets bent right up at a 90. And that's the piece that's actually going to be going against the house. Yep. Pull it out right there. Flip it right over. Now we're doing the bottom. Boxing. We're marking the boxing right now, which is two and a quarter inches on this house for the boxing. And then the face is just whatever's left, which four is and four and a half inches of what we like. I like to give it a bigger bigger face than as opposed to a smaller one because there's going to be termination bar going above this so that's going to take away some of it so if you give it a small three inch or three and a half inch fascia you lose an inch and a half or two inch to an inch and a half on your turn bar so it makes the face look really small we just like it to look a little bigger like a normal house would be Face is coming around over it. That's going to come in. Huh?
spot would overhang there. Put one right outside edge. Outside edge. There's probably two of them. Okay. We're going down here. Can't bend this one over. Nope, can't. I won't. Yeah. Shave that way. Beautiful. Thirtieth or something? I don't know. Thirty-one. Thirty-one today. Forty first. Push it in tight on that metal back there, so when you mark it, it's tight. Please. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, we knew we were probably going to be short on metal, but we knew that there was no way we are going to get it done today anyways. But we do want to have it dried in by the end of today, so we're going to get the metal. I mean, excuse me, we're going to go get the rubber, the rollers. Let's put this thing down. Let me show you how to roll these things out. I'm telling you, this is the best way, and you can get your materials at ABC Supply Store. I get mine in Wilmington, North Carolina, Castlehane Road. That's actually where I go to get most of my material um, I actually had to get this roll of rubber in Jacksonville um, because uh, there was a mess up my roll of rubber that they sent me was the wrong size so I had to go to Jacksonville to pick one up but we got that straight yesterday and we're all good and I'm gonna glue this thing down and uh, stick around guys we got more to come mobile home roofing and repairs leaks and repairs whatever you want to call it we're gonna fix it no more leaks in this place. He's tired of it. Let the fun begin. What? It. 
somebody does that on video there's a lot of people like oh i heard that <laughs> you put the number down what when it was <laughs> heard that <laughs> yeah, 15 minutes, two seconds. I heard it. Well, you didn't smell it, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Why is the fart so funny? I don't know, did you? <laughs> <laughs> the hell? Fart man, it's just a fart. It's a fart man. <clears throat> Super thick now, Paul. We can't got gotta have something to push it into. Sir, had to. We're gonna put rubber on. Yeah. Ain't had no wind yet. Ain't had any wind yet. But today we're putting on rubber. I think it's a good idea. Another clamp. Pretty work, Paul. Pretty work. What we've done is we've put glue on the rubber and the wood. We're gonna. I was just down there kneeling down on that stuff and the ball of sun up there said, uh-uh, I've made you so hot. You're not getting down on your knees today, buddy. You ain't getting on your knees. So I got off my knees. Real quick. Real quick. Last piece. Where? Oh, yeah. Last 14, last 15 foot piece. A beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. Tomorrow we'll come back, finish the fascia. Um, termination bar. Seams. And we'll call it a day. Uh, I gotta go get the roller. I gotta go get the roller. Huh? Go ahead and put the other one down. There's one trip. Want scissors or a knife? Yep. I think you're further enough over. We're good. I like it. Next step, 
I'm going to install this stuff here you call termination bar around the outside edge and that will completely um, hold down this rubber on the edges forever although it's glued down this will hold down the edges And you went to the fifth. Yeah. No. I wanted to give you room to bend around the corner. Esther Patrick Daniel Mary, EPDM, made in the USA. 0 0.045 EPDM rubber. That's about as white as it's gonna get. That's good for a first coat. And Next down. year, oh, Paul. And, down. and what? Oh, and down. And down. Next year, he might want to think about putting another coat on right on top of it. Um, and then he might not have to do it for a year or two. But for me, every time I thought it looked a little light, I would go ahead and coat it. And you just have to roll it on now. A five gallon bucket. We'll do this whole roof, five gallons. Every single time you come up here with a five gallon bucket, you can do the whole roof.